Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today to do Naruto Chapter 627 Review. Now, this week's Chapter Naruto, man. Basically, it can be divided into two parts, alright? The first part being the stuff that happens before Sasuke makes his choice. And then the stuff that happens after Sasuke makes his choice. And... Ah, oh, man! I am... You, like, like, you, you know I'm not happy with this answer. You, you know I'm not! And the sad part is that I saw it coming. Ever since Sasuke met Itachi, there was a drastic shift in his character paradigm. There was a drastic shift. All of a sudden, he was like, whoa! And then he was like, all of a sudden, from there, he started to revert away from the darkness. Despite the fact that he killed like a bunch of Zetsus, was testing out his Amaterasu, and his Susano. And he, he seemed more evil than ever. It was like, you know, <sighs> my eyes see clearly in the darkness. And you're like, oh, shit, right here's Sasuke. He's, you know, he, he, he dived even further in darkness. But no, apparently, all the time he spent hating, all the hatred that he had accumulated over the course of, let's just say, I'm not going to say for his entire time span, when uh, he was in Konoha and trained with Naruto and Sa with Naruto, Sakura, and Kakashi, but like there was clear, defined hatred that mostly encompasses character scheme from the time he left Konoha to go train with Orochimaru. So for a period of two and a half years, on top of learning all the stuff about, on, on top of killing Itachi and learning about. Um, you know, what, like, what Danzo and the other elders did to Itachi and how they told him to kill the village and so on and so forth and all the stuff that's gone on after the time skip. All the hatred that, that has accumulated over the course of Sasuke's character growth is complete, well, not completely, you know, it's mostly gone via Itachi's return and his revival and then fight together because we saw like, once Itachi was there, there was a drastic shift in his paradigm. Fucking... <laughs> and then he even said, like... Like, he even said, Itachi... He told Itachi, like, yo, I'm gonna destroy Kona. Because, you know, that's the way it is. I mean, yeah, like, I'm happy to see you. But, but, no. It's not happening. And... All of a sudden, the icing on the cake was Hashirama. Hashirama fucking sat down. Story time. A few words about what Shinobi really means, and then let's go and join the fray. Fuck! Like, it's just. Fuck! I just. Fuck, bro. Fuck. 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 I, I just. Fuck. Because now, well, what does that mean now? That means that instead of the main villain of the series being Sasuke. Now the main villain is either Obito or Madara. Now Madara is not a bad choice at all. But the problem is that with Madara, he's not a good choice either. Why? Because Madara's only relevant as of late. He's only been relevant for one fucking arc. And Obito, don't get me started on this piece of shit. Do not get me fucking started. So, now it's like, okay. So, out of the two choices that we have for main villains in the series... For the final villain, for the prima villain, for the zenith of villainy in this series, Madara is the okay choice, only relevant for one arc, but he's still prominent regardless because his standing in the story seemed to have encompassed throughout multiple arcs, but he's only relevant in this arc. And then Obito, just a piece of shit. He's a piece of shit villain, period. Bro, get him out of here! Get him out of here! So, who are you? I fucking know, man. I, I'm, I'm not digging it. Because Sasuke should be the prima villain bar none. And it's like, no, no, no. I mean, I'm not talking about power. I'm talking about for the sake of being a villain. And no. He should, after hearing Hashirama's speech, he should have been like, you know what? That, 
that's beautiful. Now I understand why Tachi did what he did fully. Now I truly grasp the Shinobi concept. Now I see why all these things have occurred throughout the course of Konoha and in the Ninja World. But fuck that shit. Destroy Konoha. Wastelanding. He should have... Oh, Sasuke. Sasuke Kun. And then like when they leave, when they leave... And then it's like, Kari's right there. I mean, you see, Suikatsu was kind of funny. He wanted to bail. He was like, listen, man, I can't be with these three monsters, Jugo, Orochimaru, and fucking Sasuke. And then these four superhuman crazy motherfuckers, OP dudes, the four Kages, and contend and be on their same level. So he, he was going to bail. He's like, here's my chance when they got out. Like, chance. Like, yeah, he'll tell. Kari, no, fuck you. And then Kari, after, like, you know, doing her... Um, Weenie Boo, uh, like, what's it called? The uh, female characters that always hit dudes and like are always angry, like that character type. I, 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 uh, I forgot the name. The um, for some reason I'm thinking Weenie Boo, and then that's, that's not even a word. It's it something like Weenie Boo. Um, I forgot. But basically, like she does her, her she does she she does her thing, and then she goes to the Sasuke. Sasuke, I'm not gonna forgive you. He's like, I'm sorry. Oh, yo, away with words. Like, no, like no. He stabbed you, and then Rochamaru's like, "Well, he stabbed me, but you know, I'm cool." And uh, I mean, was, uh, and then basically, like, after a, a speech from Hashirama, they the the Kage just happen to jump down on their own faces, like mm, flex their muscles. Mm, yeah, the prime dogs of the Konoha village, and then that's a chapter ends. So listen, man. Listen, listen. I'm not a fan. Of it. I'm just, I'm just not. I'm, I'm not. Um. I'm not sure not. Now, if you want, from a storytelling stand, or well, no, from a story progression standpoint, it's a good, it's good from from that aspect. It's a story, from a story progression standpoint, it's good. From a character progression standpoint, from Sasuke. Now, this is either or. It depends on what you prefer. Now, you could say it's good, even even great, because we see, like, we see him throughout the entire course of the series. Have multiple shifts in his character scheme, and this like the and this like the this is the latest character shift where he's actually like you know good, um well or at least he is appeared to be good, or at least accepting of the light if you want to put it that way, or you, you can say it's bad because it completely mitigates what he's done, or at least it not completely but it does mitigate a lot of the shit that he's gone through beforehand. And his whole entire concept of diving in the darkness, and also it kind of it kind of makes you think about how well if you remember what he talked to Naruto, how I believe it, I believe it was Itachi who said to Naruto like you're the only one that can like remove Sasuke from this darkness or something of that nature, something around that scheme. But no, Hashirama just mm, words and then I see the light, Lord. Like you, it's like no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Whoa, whoa. Like, what happened to all that shit? What happened to Itachi saying to Naruto this and that, and this and that? Apparently, fuck that. So, like, it, it. On one hand, it can be a good thing. On the other hand, it can be a bad thing. Me personally, I'm going for the bad. I, I think it's fucking bad. I think it's bar none bad. Um, but I can see why you think it's good. I can't. I really can't. So, in my personal opinion, character. Growth wise, I think it's a bad thing. I really I really do. I don't like it. I'm not a fan of it. He should have been the prima villain and now we see that shift for him being good. And I'm I i am not digging it whatsoever. Now Oh yeah, and then by the way, um for all the Toby Romer haters, either sit the fuck down or step the fuck aside. Come on. Like like the, the, Toby Rama is officially the best cop. Yeah. 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 In in, in in stature of leadership, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know why? Because he he even says here. First of all, people are like he hates you, Chia. No, he even says like I'm gonna eat Chia. All right. It's just that he kept an eye on all the clans that were a threat to Konoha, and the Uchiha just happened to be the biggest fucking threat. They just had me the biggest threat. But even then, he took the extremes of Hashirama and Mara. Hashirama being way too naive. Mara being way too skeptical, and he found a medium in between this where he maintained peace between clans. 
Oh! Oh! You see? Oh! The, the, the Earth Rivers! Slavery! Shut, shut the fuck up! Stand the fuck aside! Get, get the fuck out of here! Fuck that shit! Fuck that shit! No, stupid! Dumb! Dumb! I mean, everyone should know according to Story Lodge that it wasn't even Toriyama's fault. It was it was the Uchiha who got butt hurt, even, even though they were the police force. I mean, but we're in the corner. Oh my god, we're in the corner. We're in the corner. Even though we're the police force, we're in the corner. And it was Donzo who told Itaki to kill him. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. No, no. Get out of here. Get. Get. No, no. Um, he, he's the best Okami, period. Because Hashirama believed that everything was going to be A-OK -okay once they made the village. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Because, again, he was too naive. He, Toriyama says he was too naive. And Toriyama himself, he stabilized unity between the clans. And, yo, and, and this, is where it, this is where it goes even higher. Hash, no, not Hashirama. Who used and says that... In his opinion, the legacy that he had mitigated Toby Rama's own legacy. Get the, get the fuck down. Sit the fuck down, man. Toby Rama, number one Hokage, bar none. Bar none. It was Hashirama. No, he gets the bump down. Too naive, fool. Fool! Too naive. Toby Rama for number one Hokage. Easy. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Numero uno. Um, yeah. So basically, the way I see it now, as Okage stature wise, is gonna be actually, it's kind of the same way as as the Kage ranking, but flip Toram and Hashirama. So Toram is number one, Hashirama is number two, and then we go on from the from the original stature, Ryuzen, then Minato, then of course, then last fucking shitty ass Tsunade. Fuck out of your fleet. <laughs> Oh, ah, ah, ah. fuck Tsunade, man. Fuck her. I mean, listen, listen. In my personal opinion, and the, I mean, I'm pretty sure people, I'm pretty sure people uh, agree with this when I say this. Kakashi would have been a better Okage than fucking Tsunade. Easy, 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 very easy. Um, but that's you know right there. So that so that part of the chapter, I thought was fucking like I was like, yeah, when he was talking about, um. Kagami, because people, they, you know, people always assume that people had the, uh, uh, like, when they were, back in the day, when they had the Toby theories about who was, who was Toby, Kagami was an option, people were like, you know, it's Kagami, but Kagami, you know, he even said how, and again, he, he, he praised, he said that some of these, some of the Uchiha clan, they, their dedication to the village, their dedication to, to the village was bar none, bar none, and Kagami was an example. And then we have Ruzen saying how, you know, his son was uh, uh, Shishui uh, Uchiha, who was Itachi's best friend. And so, 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 don't, don't give me that shit. I don't want to hear this shit. He's the best Hokage. I don't give a fuck what anyone said, all right? Fuck Tsunade. Miyato, you're, you're second to last, motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> I mean, people love his ass, you know. Fuck the other guy. No, no. Who made that shit? Toby Robin. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. So yeah, best Okage, easy, and that and that to me is the best part of the entire chapter, easy, easy. And um, but what I'm curious about now, definitely for sure. All right, for, so so now moving on with that to story at hand. All right, so the chapter rating overall, again, in my personal opinion, story progression wise, it's good. Tobarama, good. So we have two goods here, but then we have a bad, in my personal opinion, which is again the character scheme of Sasuke completely being altered now. And, like he even says, and let me find the exact quote right here somewhere i'll find it crush the village or not and then he says we join the fray i won't let my brother's life and the village perish like some afterthought so now he's here to protect the village now he's here to assist the village so oh by the way um there's a scene here there's a scene here where karin goes like mad close to sasuke and like hugs him and then he starts to sweat which is unusual for sasuke so i'm pretty sure some of the if you guys exist the the uh, fans of the pairings, the uh, Sasuke Karin fans, maybe you guys actually have some weight now. Maybe I don't, I don't know. Possible. I mean, I mean, the way I see it, the best pairing so far, Shikamaru and Tamari. Easy, easy. Rock Lee's a loser, so fuck him. 
uh, Ninji's dead. Hinata and Naruto, probably Sakura, you Sakura and go outside. I don't I don't fucking know. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't fucking care to be honest, but I don't know. She sucks. But um she sucks bad. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, basically You can see it as you want to. Me, I see it as bad. I don't I don't fucking like it. I don't like it at all. I, I just don't. I think it mitigates a lot of the material that happened with Sasuke. And the shift in character was just way too drastic. When Itachi, this is like no, way too drastic, way too drastic. The initial shift was just way too drastic, and I just, I, I, I'm not a fan. I'm just not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Like you would think that it would take more than just one arc to completely shift someone's psyche from this to that. I mean, like the same shit happened with Pain, and and and, and you know, like his Naruto speech book. <gasps> Revive, but no, 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 no. So, see it as you would, you know, see it as you would. Um, and is that it? Yeah, that's. I mean, like, there was a few things here and there with, with Orochimaru when you know Miyato was talking about how you know, like, he kind of failed as a kai because he died when the QB came in there, and Orochimaru was like, well, you know. People thought I should have been Okage, but because few apparently few people believe that Hochimaru would have been a better choice of Kage than Minato. So, <laughs> so you get just like, uh, you kind of spilled milk, man. So, so, so there are funny scenes in and out of the chapter, but the chapter rating we have a good and we have a bad that goes to an Ormac okay, and then we have another good on top of that with freaking uh. Actually, I'll give it a good plus, just because I like Toronto. So we have a good plus with Toborama stuff, and that brings the okay to another to back to a good, because it, it's a good plus. So otherwise it, it would have been an okay plus. So the chapter overall, it's a good chapter. But I'm uh, again, like I'm not no, 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 no. Sasuke. Sasuke kun. No. Should have stayed evil. Should have been evil. Evil for the motherfucking win. But now apparently our choices for villainy are two guys. Fucking Madara, who again is relevant only in this arc, and he's an okay villain thus far, not really that prominent. And shitty, crappy, terrible. I oh no, wait, there's another option. Well, Obito, shitty. But there's also another option the Ten Tails. But the Ten Tails, he ain't doing He ain't doing shit. He's. Ooh, ooh, like he's he ain't doing shit. He's, he's not even talking. Fucking Ten Tails, man. The, the demon. But yeah, at the same time, the progenitor of all things that exist in the Naruto world. He ain't doing shit. So yeah, I'm done. Chapter rating overall good. And I'm signing out. Be sure, of course, rate, comment, and subscribe as always. And I'm signing out. Peace. Have a nice day. To be run. Yeah. <laughs> Step the fuck aside, you Damn Torama haters, stuff the fuck aside. Um, I just realized something. It took me a few hours because I was, you know, at class and shit, but I just realized something. I made a mistake on my own ranking system. In actuality, good and bad, because good and subpar mean okay. Good and bad mean fucking... Well, good and bad just mean subpar. And then the good plus bumps up to an okay. So the chapter overall is not, it's, it's it's not a good chapter, it's overall an okay chapter. So I apologize, I fucked, up, I fucked up on my own ranking system. So that's why there's a jump cut, like, at the end of the video. But that's what it has to be. So, I mean, but in, in actuality, in, in, in my personal opinion, like, this chapter, even though Torama was, like, cool in this chapter, like, you know, Torama, you know, he was doing his thing. And, you know, all the motherfuckers can go sit down and shut the fuck up, but... The chapter, the way I feel is that from a reviewer standpoint, it's an okay chapter. From my personal from my personal standpoint, the chapter's shit. It's utter shit. I don't like it. I don't fucking like it. But that's whatever. So I apologize. But it is what it is. And I'll see you guys later. Signing out.